all right good day everyone and welcome to my youtube channel again my name is fred so quickly we're going to be looking at how to construct an epicycloid now do not forget an epicycloid is the locus of a point traced the locus of a point on a circle okay that rolls on the outer surface of what a bigger circle so let's assume there is a small circle here if it rolls one revolution on the outer surface of what a bigger circle the part traced is what an epicycloid so you will be given two dimensions. First of all, the radius of the bigger arc and the radius of the small arc. In this example, we take the radius of the bigger arc to be what? Uh, 90 millimeters, that is 9 centimeters, and the radius of the small circle to be 25 millimeters, that is 2.5 centimeters. So you stretch two point, uh, sorry, 90 millimeters on your pair of compass, on your ruler, then needle somewhere there. Just ignore this line for now, assuming there is nothing drawn yet, okay? It's just for illustration purpose. So look for a center, any point of your choice, okay? And draw an arc with a radius 90 millimeters, okay? So when you're done drawing that arc, call this point here zero, all right? Or O. Then at the point where you have, uh, where you needle the pair of compass, draw a line through any, any uh, convenient uh, uh, point of your choice on the arc. So you draw this line. All right, so we have that line there. So you extend the line out of the arc, all right? So with the radius of the smaller circle, which is 25, that is 2.5 millimeter, you measure 2.5 millimeters on your pair of compass, okay? Now place at this point of intersection here between the uh, circle, sorry, the arc and the straight line and cut, all right? Make a mark and add there, the one you can see here. So this becomes the center of the smaller circle. So you needle here. All right, and with the same radius of 2.5, you draw the smaller circle. All right, so we have that. Now, what you do here, what, what you do next is you divide the circle into 12 equal parts. Now, be very, very careful because this is already the diameter of the circle you have drawn, okay? So you drop a perpendicular here, like this, sorry. You drop a perpendicular here. To divide the circle into four equal parts then you proceed so drop a perpendicular here then when you're done extend the line to divide the circle into 12 equal sorry four equal parts so we have that so with this same radius 2.5 what do you do you know how to do the rest so you cut an arc here you cut an arc here you place here and you continue to divide the circle into 12 equal parts so here you have the circle divided into 12 equal parts okay so what do you do next just like you did for a uh, cycloid take one of the uh, take one of the divisions say 0 to 11 or 11 to 10 whichever okay then on this arc step of 12 equal division so you place your pair of compass here you step one two three up to 12 so there you have it one to 12 okay so what do you do next now draw lines from o through one remember the point of intersection through one and two and three so you draw lines through like this then you go to two connect two to o like this and so on until you get to 12. okay so there you have it all right so what do you do next now you start connecting arcs all right like we did for cycloid now you know we connected five and seven four and eight you know three and nine two ten one eleven now but before you start connecting the arcs the first thing you do is you connect the center so you place a pair of compass here and stretch to the center of the circle and draw an arc now on that arc that's where you will indicate your c1 c2 to c12 okay so place on this center stretch to this sorry on o stretch to the center all right and draw an arc all right very expedient you do that first then what do you do now remember this center is c o so this now becomes what um c1 c2 up to c12 so there we have it c1 to c12 all right okay so now place your pair of compass here 
stretch to one all right stretch to one now if you draw an arc one and eleven should coincide all right so you stretch to one you draw an arc from one through eleven down you stretch to two you draw an arc two and ten would be connecting okay so you draw an arc through you stretch to three now because these are uh an arc three and nine would be on the same what straight line okay uh just like we had it for cycloid so place on three three and nine would connect you draw an arc please do not confuse this line three and nine for this center line this center line is different all right and so on okay so then we have all the arcs so what do you do next now you use the same radius of the circle you stretch 2.5 also just simply place on um, the center of the small circle and stretch to either 0 or 11 just the radius just take the radius of the circle so what do you do next now like I told you when you were constructing the cycloid this is the beginning 0 here is the beginning of the cycloid so make a dot there and 12 here will be the end all right of the cycloid so you now place here okay so for zero we already have here all right now for c or rather we already have this dot here so you now go to c1 all right place on c1 remember your focus should be on this center line this center line not line three nine not line two ten there is a center line there so place it on c1 right and cut line one this is line one this is line one one and eleven they're on the same point so you cut line one here and you dot then you now move to c2 and cut line two so this is point c2 and this is line two sorry arc two not line arc two all right you cut the arc and you make a dot at the point of intersection you go to three and you cut now do not confuse this center line for three okay this center line is on its own that's where you have c1 to c4 so this is line three here all right please do not make that mistake you cut line three you dot you go to four and so on so there you have all the dots so remember for six you don't need to cut because the radius of the circle is same so for six you have that point here that's the point between the line at the, the point of intersection between the line and the arc all right so what you do next is you draw the curves or the curve rather connect the points so you use a flexible curve or a french curve to draw a very clean curve all right clean curve and there you have your epicycloid